Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you recall, in the last tutorial, we installed uh, Shogun and we also installed uh, Scilearn. And I'm assuming that you already have Shogun installed, that you have Scilearn all set up for your system, IPython and all the dependencies, and we're ready to go. But before we get into the code, I wanted to give you for those of you that would like to know a little bit more about the ICA and, and a, letter, a little bit more about the theory of blind source separation, there are these two nice sources that I found. Uh, there's this source right here, the link. I will be including this link in the description of the video. And this other link here from MIT where they discuss, uh, they get more into detail on the on the basis of ICA and blind source separation and what makes them different from uh, PCA principal component analysis and also Fourier Fourier analysis and uh, they get more into detail uh, emphasizing the differences and and you know ICA PCA is based on var variance ICA is based on on kurtosis and 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 they get really I mean you can spend a whole semester just talking about this so I just included this so if you want to go you know if you want to know more about the subject uh, so being that we cannot do it uh, in one tutorial okay but enough talking let's get into the code this is the IPython notebook for all those of you that don't know uh, how to use it all you need to do is open a terminal let me stop this one so I show you how to use it. And all you need to do is open, let me clear this. Oops. Clear. All you need to do is open a terminal, find the, the directory where you are going to be working in. For example, you make a directory, let's call it uh, uh, fast ICA. So you make that directory and now you go cd into it, cd into the fast ICA. And now that you're inside and now you want to, this is where you're going to be saving all of your stuff. All you need to do is do IPython notebook and it's going to open a session. Uh, through a server, okay, through one of your ports on your computer, and this is the one right here. And once you get this one, as you can see, it's running on your local host and on port 808090. And then you just click here and you open a new notebook. You open a new notebook, and there you go, you start typing, okay. If you want to follow along with me, that's all you need to do. But I already have one, so I'm not going to do that. I already have one here. I, in order not to waste too much time for this tutorial, I already did this. This is right out of the Scilearn uh, website, uh, the, one of the tutorials. And as you can see, we're importing NumPy as NP, we're importing matplotlib pyplot to plot, we're importing signals from SciPy, FastICA, and PCA. Uh, this is uh, PCA, this principal component analysis. This is what we did in one of my last tutorials uh, where we use eigenphases. Um, this one, we're going to be using fast ICA, but we're going to be comparing it with fast ICA and PCA. There's going to be g data generated here, 2000 samples, and it's going to be an x axis, 0 to 2000, and it's from 0 to 8 on the y axis. Okay, so it's going to be three three signals. One signal is going to be a sinusoidal uh, signal. The other one is going to be a square wave, as you can see. And this one right here is going to be a sawtooth signal. Okay, um, here we're adding noise through mul through multiplying 0.2 times random the random num from NumPy standardizing the data, creating the mixing matrix that he's talking about here, as you can see, uh, this one, let me, ex this is, the, um, this is the signal, where is it, 
the Gaussian noise. Uh, these are the histograms. This is a good one, but there's a, a better one that I wanted to show you. I think it's in this one right here. Uh, okay. This is uh, it's, it's easier to, to see. There's a, the original source is a signal. It's a signal, it's a you know, sinusoidal wave. And this is uh, the signal two, it's more a square wave. And then this is the mixing signal, one, missing signal x1, missing signal x2. And then this is the, the what it came out. As you can see, this is the square one, and this is the sinusoidal. Okay, and they're a little bit different, because this, this is, as you can see, this is uh, the uh, estimated ones, okay, and uh, the matrix. What we're doing here is we're trying, this is the mixing matrix that I just showed you. Okay, this is how you're doing it with the generated data. It's applying the dot product on the on the transpose of A, and here is where the uh, ICA is being computed. We're reconstructing the signals here, and here you're getting the estimated mixing that is this one right here. Okay, this is dot. You're getting it through that. Okay, and here the assertion, um, yeah, it's a proof that it applies, yep. And then here is the comparison of the reconstructed signals and uh, the from the PCA one, and here the plotting. Okay, so let's run it so we can see better. And remember, in IPython, you have to hit Shift Enter. Shift enter, shift enter, shift enter, and you'll see the plot. And these are this, the plot. We make it a little bit bigger so we can see better. And these are the signals. Okay, this is the mixed signal. This is the true sources, and this is what is being recovered. And this is the PCA one. Okay, it's, remember it's a comparison between the PCA and the uh, and the fast ICA, and as you can see here, you can see the red sinusoidal, right here, and you can see the so two. As you can see, the yellow so two there, and you can see here the square wave, the blue one. Okay, as you can see, the PCA didn't do a pretty good job of uh, of getting them, as you can see here. But you can see ICA, you can clearly see the sinusoidal. You can see the square yellow one here, square wave. And you can see the red so too, very clearly defined. Okay, And it's a, this is a, 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 a visualization of, of what's going on. In the next tutorial, this is what's using generating data. In the next tutorial, I will be using actual uh, pieces of music and in the following tutorial we'll be using images so that way you are able to see it using uh, generated signals through through random sampling you're going to see music real mp3 we're, we're going to convert it into a WAV file and then we're going to do the same separation of the and on mixing and in the uh, two tutorials from now we will be doing it but with images okay so th there's two three new, very good tutorials coming up uh, this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time thanks for watching